Way of the Warrior, your MMA show this weekend. UFC 130, one of the prelim fights, a big one for both men. Cole Escovedo is joining us right now, his debut in the UFC. Cole, how are you? Not bad, sir. How are you doing? I am excellent. Uh, I have to say, very excited to see you in the UFC. It has been a long, long trip for you. Talk about what this week has felt like for you, 10 years in the making, to get to the UFC. Um, it's like Everybody keeps asking me, and the most I can say is it's surreal. It's exciting. It's cliche to say it, but like a lot of guys are like, oh, it's a dream come true. I've been wanting to fight in the UFC since, I, since day one. And reality is, I, I mean, once I progressed in the sport, then I started to realize the 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 fundamental need to not just want to fight in the UFC, but to be in the UFC, because that's where you make the most, and that's where you have the biggest opportunities to to make money for yourself and family. So for the earlier part of my career, it wasn't really that big of a drive, but as I matured in the sport, man, it became like a, an unending goal, an unending drive that I've got to get in, I, I will be in one day, i got to do whatever I can to get in. So 10 years is a long, long, but... You know, I'm in. I'm in. That's all that matters. Well, we were we were talking about this before you came on. Is we've all been exposed to you. I, I think around 2004, somebody gave me a Gladiators Challenge DVD that you were on and watched it and went. I knew because of the weight class why you weren't in the UFC, but mm-hmm. I thought here's a kid who's phenomenal. I can't wait to see him in the UFC. And that was eight years ago. Yeah. Wow, man. Yeah, that was a that was a Gladiator Challenge was way back in the day. I speak for a lot of people where I say I'm very excited to see this, and and I understand it's kind of hard to put into words, and I know that you're focusing, I know you said in another interview, right now you're just a Zufa employee and you have to win this one to be a UFC fighter, and I can get that stuff, but as a fan, excited to see you fighting on Saturday night. Sweet, thanks, and I'm I'm actually just as excited to have my fans be able to watch me, because I've got so many people that have been following my career like you and other uh, thousands of people, and I feel good to be able to give them it almost looks like a vicarious feeling. Like if I made it to the UFC as a fan, they made it to the UFC. It's if they get to watch me grow and they actually see me achieve something, and it makes them happy. So it's I, I achieve, they achieve kind of thing. So it's it, it's a win win actually. And let's take a step back, because not only has this been a ten year career, but there was a moment in two thousand six and two thousand seven that this probably wasn't going to happen at all. Staff infection is something that runs rampant in MMA, uh, and I think a lot of people don't understand the severity of it. Can you explain really quickly what happened? Um, basically, what it was it was I contracted a staph infection that turned into MRSA, MRSA, which is an antibiotic resistant strain of the infection. It almost becomes a parasite and eats away at your organs or whatever it attaches to. And it made its way from my arm into my spinal cord and pretty much just started having a buffet. And by the time they got to the doctors, I was already paralyzed from the waist down and was losing use of my upper extremities. And uh, they had to have emergency surgery. And my, my neurosurgeon was so blown away by what he found in there that he was convinced that with his medical experience, he, he was convinced I'd never walk right again. If I was lucky to walk without a cane or a walker or something, I, I would it would be an achievement in and of itself. And when I asked him what it about the training, he just kind of looked at me and just said, "Let's just let's not even worry about that because that's not going to happen." So they were very adamant about never fighting, and maybe I'd be lucky to walk again, and that just wasn't good enough for me. So it's an incredible story. Uh, UFC 130 this weekend. Cole Escovedo is on with us. Let's talk about your opponent. Not a lot of people have heard of Henyan Baron. He has been huge in Brazil. Also, his debut in the UFC, and a lot of people, I think, think this is going to be one of the fight of the night contenders. Let's talk about what's going to happen on Saturday night. Um, I'm one of the thousands of people that's never heard of him before either. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll be honest; I, I try to stay on top of new prospects come up in the game, and until the UFC called me and said, "Hey, we got this guy that is the first I'd ever heard of him," he's definitely a game opponent. He's coming off like 25 wins in a row, or some some crazy nonsense like that. So. It's not going to be a walk at a park. It sure is. It's a baptism by fire for my debut. But on the same token, there's no easy fights in the UFC, and I wouldn't have really asked for an easy fight anyway because then that doesn't really prove why I'm there. Um, but yeah, I've never heard of him. Good Muay Thai guy, good ground, great ground guy. Um, as far as the jiu-jitsu community goes, I, I have knowledge of that. But other than that, I never heard of him. So at the end of the day, his record is just a number, and he's just another man standing across from me. So I think you would agree the X factor in all of this is getting into that octagon because there's that weird new UFC adrenaline dump that's different than every other cage that you've been in. Um, yeah, there's probably going to be an adrenaline dump from the experience of walking in that octagon in front of the U- actual UFC fans and actually knowing that you're on a UFC. But I really try to keep it as humble and, and, and fo- you know, zero focus as possible. And I just remind myself that it's just another day at the office. It's just that it's a bigger office. You know, it's just like getting a promotion <laughs> in, in, in the building. So. 
Well, Cole, it has been a pleasure to talk to you. UFC 130, it is this weekend, Memorial Day. You will be on the prelims. We hope to see you not only get the W, but get that fight of the night. Have a wonderful weekend, and we hope to talk to you soon. Hey, definitely. Thanks for it, guys. I appreciate it.